The UFC is home to fighters from all parts of the world. Some are from Gardens of Eden, like Long Island, while others are from dystopian hellscapes, like Australia. But of all the places UFC fighters hail from, the hood has to be the one that gives the most clout. There is nothing cooler than being from an inner city. All right, let's jump right into A tier with a famous stereotypical hood fighter, Kevin Holland. Raised by his grandma, living with his cousins. His dad was in jail. His mom was in and out of jail. Always chilling with his cousins and shit. You know what I mean? Shirtless on the street, drinking drinks, just chilling. I think it's pretty hood. I think it's pretty cool. Jamal Hill. He is from the Rack, Chicago, but moved to Grand Rapids, Michigan when he was like 12. Come on. Prime uh, gang activity age. Has six children, so it does lump him up here higher. I have made a video entirely on how hood Jamal Hill is, so check that out if you want any more information on him. I break it down in a very detailed way. Tied to Avasa. I know he's apparently very hood. He's yelling out aboriginal um, gang slogans on national television, FTA. Sorry, you send 10 14-year-old shooters from O-Block to Western Sydney, they'll clear out that neighborhood in a week. I'm being generous putting two of us on C tier here. Anyway, John Jones. Buffalo, New York. Stable two-parent home. Solid income. Very privileged guy. Honestly, I'm from very close to Buffalo, New York in southern Ontario. John Jones, honestly, is less hood than me. It's a better place. I would have rather grow up in Buffalo. Also, there are rumors. I, I don't know how true these are. I one day might look into them. Apparently, John Jones in New Mexico does not have a single black person live on his entire street. Khalil Roundtree Jr. Fucking hood, dude. His dad died in an R&B related shootout as the tour manager for boys to men. Need I say more? A tier. Leon Edwards. He has a criminal father. He was a criminal himself as a youth. There are rumors allegedly he is laundering money through his mom's chicken shop. I have no way to verify that. I am not implying he is. I have just heard that. Jamaica is pretty hood. Birmingham, not so much. Once again, literally send a couple teenage shooters from O Block into Brom. <laughs> Drew Dober, huh? Didn't think he'd make this list, eh? He grew up without a father. He didn't even know his father until he was like an adult. That's fucking hood. C tier, given his other predilections. Cannoneer, Jared Cannoneer. He is from the hood, but he hated it so much he moved to Alaska. That's extremely out of the ordinary for a hood inner city person. And he believes in like white girl shit, like witch, Catholic astrology shit, and crystals and stuff. Solid D tier, man. Derek Lewis, very hood. Raised by a single mom, had six siblings. He was fighting all the time, just chilling, laughing, playing around, getting arrested and shit, getting on probation and shit. I got to give Derek Lewis an A tier. He's awesome. Let's keep it moving. Deshaun Strickland. Yes, not very hood. But when he gets into his persona, man, when that do-rag comes out, when that henny gets flowing, when that blunt gets passing, Deshaun Strickland. About as solid hood as you can be in B tier. Randy Dandy Brown. Pretty tough life in Jamaica. Used to get bullied for being an American. Wait, I can't remember his story entirely. I did not double check it for this video. I don't know. It's pretty hood. It's a lot more hood than fucking Aljamain Sterling. Who, huh. I'm sorry, Aljo. You live in paradise. Long Island is the best place on earth. There's a man by the name of Alonzo Menafield. 
he was raised in foster care. Something go- going on in his head. If you've ever watched him talk. I'll give my guy Alonzo. Lonzo. I'll give my guy Lonzo. A tier. For sure. He's hood. He's keeping it real. And he's working with another hood motherfucker. Pat Barry. Yes, you heard it here. Pat Barry is a code switching hood master. I believe he's from Louisiana. He can switch flawlessly in between hood accent. I guarantee if you want something good to watch, go watch Pat motherfucking Barry talk in his black scent while he's cornering Alonzo Manafield. It's gold. I gotta get my well, he's not my guy. I do not condone Pat Barry's activities apart from his use of black scent. B tier. Chris Curtis. Christopher Curtis. The wannabe lawyer. The simp. The crybaby. The poor loser. Yeah, he's not hood at all. He's a privileged, entitled baby. Before we move on to S tier, I've got to give you a special F tier. No hate to the guy. Derek Brunson was a fucking cheerleader. That is about as low as you can get on the hood scale. I don't like that. I don't want that in the UFC or in the hood. Our final hood fighter, no longer in the UFC, but Mike Platinum Perry deserves the S tier regardless of where he calls home. He is 2% black. He grew up in largely black neighborhoods and had to fight for his life to prove his blackness. He says the N-word at will. Mike Perry is about as hood as it fucking gets. If you guys have any other ideas for tier lists I can do, drop them in the comments below. I really do appreciate your guys' ideas and I appreciate all your comments. Some people are telling me that they love the comment sections on these videos. Part of the reason they watch them. So keep it up. I pre- You guys are fucking great. Let's go. Let's keep it going. Demon Bobby. Demon Mommy.